What are SEER2 and HSPF2? And why do you need to know? Air conditioners and heat pumps have their efficiency described by these numbers. It's like miles per gallon for your heating and cooling equipment. SEER2 and HSPF2 are new standards as of January 1st, 2023. Previously, these were just SEER and HSPF. The added two signifies the value is determined by the new federally required testing standards. In the past, SEER and HSPF measuring was performed with the indoor fan unit, furnace, or air handler, having virtually no duct resistance to airflow. The greater this resistance, however, the more power consumed during operation. This resistance is measured in inches water column. That is, the amount of pressure it takes to push a column of water up a tube. In the past, the test was made at 0 0.1 inches water column. That's not a lot of pressure. Only one-tenth of an inch. The issue is that virtually all home forced air HVAC systems have ductwork. The restriction this adds to the fan typically is about 0 0.5 inches or higher, especially if the ductwork is not designed or installed correctly. That means the old way of testing was flawed because the actual amount of energy needed to deliver conditioned air was under five times greater resistance than the testing was performed at. The new testing procedure is performed at 0 0.5 inches water column. Thus, the results are in line with the more typical home conditions. It also means the old SEER or HSPF numbers would be calculated lower as SEER2 or HSPF values. How can you use these numbers? Like miles per gallon, the bigger the number, the better the performance. SEER2 numbers are cooling efficiency only. HSPF numbers are heating numbers. So when comparing units, the equipment with the larger SEER2 will cool the home for less money. The same is true for heat pump heating performance. The higher the HSPF2, the less money out of your pocket in the heating bills. Let's talk about SEER first. What then should you look for in a SEER 2 number if you are buying an air conditioner? The minimum rating differs depending on where you live. Washington State is in the North region. There are three other regions, Southeast, Southwest, and National. Here in Washington, the previous minimum was 13.0 SEER. The new minimum is 14.0 SEER 2. 14.0 SEER2 means that for every watt of power used to cool your home, 14.0 BTUs must be removed. Thus, if you have a 20.0 SEER2 unit, 20 BTUs would be removed per watt of power. That makes a 20.0 SEER2 unit 42% more efficient than the 14.0 SEER2 model. Should you buy the most efficient unit then? Electric rates vary depending upon your utility company. Many areas of Washington State have rather low electric rates. Because of this, cooling costs are not significantly high. So there is a diminishing return on investment when buying very high SEER 2 cooling units. It does make sense to buy the most efficient unit you can comfortably afford. Don't expect to get your higher investment back in return quickly when buying very high SEER 2 units. The minimum is now 14.0 SEER 2. There are some units that go as high as 42.0 SEER 2. Typically, 14 to 20 SEER 2 models are good values here in the Yakima area. 
you can expect an average size modern home to pay about $300 to $500 per year for air conditioning at these SEER 2 numbers. Let's talk about HSPF2. Unlike SEER 2, there is one national region for the minimum HSPF2. Washington State was 8.2. The new national minimum is 8.8 .8 HSPF2. A key to keep in mind for us in the Yakima area is we live in a primarily heating climate. Despite low utility rates, our heating bill is typically three to four times larger than our cooling bill. So, what would you like to save more of? 40% off a $500 bill or 40% off a $2,000 bill? The point is this. When buying a new HVAC system for your home, consider the heating performance as more important than the cooling performance. Getting the most efficient heat pump rather than the minimum efficient model will likely pay back the difference in 5 to 10 years. HSPF2 is calculated different than cooling. It stands for Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. The key difference is seasonal. The total season's heating BTUs are divided by the season's total watts consumed producing that heat. It is not a straight BTU per watt calculation. Our seasons vary in temperature for heating dramatically. At lower temperatures, heat pumps move less heat per watt. So, taking the total season's BTU accounts for a more realistic comparison and evaluation. HSPF2 values for a typical split system heat pumps range from the minimum of 8.8 .8 to as high as 13. Washington State Code indicates 9.5 HSPF2 is worth giving incentive toward during new construction. So we might conclude that 9.5 HSPF or larger is a good value. It is not uncommon for some older heat pump systems to have an HSPF of 6.0 or even lower. If that is your situation, a new 13 SEER HSPF2 system would reduce your heating cost by over 40%. If you are using only electric resistance heating, a 13.0 HSPF2 would reduce your heating bill by a whopping 70%. What is the takeaway? To save operation cost, we need to compare the SEER 2 and HSPF 2 of the systems we are considering purchasing. Principally, here in Yakima, we need to primarily look at the HSPF 2 because this is where the larger savings are to be gained. Buy the system with the highest HSPF 2 you can comfortably afford. And remember, Know the minimum values, 14.0 SEER 2 and 8.8 .8 HSPF 2. Every capacity match of cooling and heating equipment has a different SEER 2 and HSPF 2, even in the same product model series. Be certain the product matches you are considering for purchasing have published certified values found on www.ahridirectory.org. This means that they have been tested and a certificate is available with the published results for you to consider. Most sales brochures only show you the hero matches with the largest numbers. However, most product combinations do not reach these. Be careful. Brochures might be misleading. The company offering you the equipment should be able to provide the published efficiency information for you if you ask, but better yet, they will provide it to you without your asking.